All right, so for these right here, we are going to we're going to use the large confidence interval, but we're going to use um, t to estimate the um, the value that we need here on the right hand side. So, um, so first we need a ninety nine percent confidence interval, and recall for any confidence interval you want to subtract. Your confidence level from one and divide that by two. So if I divide point zero one by two, that is point zero zero five. All right, now for my degrees of freedom, when I go to get the critical value, I'm going to use 25 plus 35 minus 2. So 25 plus 35 is 60 minus 2 is 58 degrees of freedom. So let's put in 0 0.005 and 58 degrees of freedom into Excel. Let me see if I can open. Oh, I've got an exit drawing. Okay. So I want equal equal t dot inv point zero zero five and fifty eight degrees of freedom, and it gives me this particular t value. Okay, so let's look at this 99% confidence interval. Like most confidence intervals, we want to take that 99%, subtract it from 1, not is 0 0.01, and then we want to divide that by 2, um, and 0 0.01 divided by 2, is going to give us 0 0.005. Now, since our other examples we're using the conservative estimate for the t values, let's use the conservative estimate as well. So, and I think that will, uh, you might remember I sent out that uh, text saying that the this these particular confidence intervals turn off to be turn out to be off a little bit, and I think maybe it's because they're using the conservative estimate. So we'll we'll use it. Uh, and in this case, I think it does give us the right answer. So we'll we'll uh, we'll use it. Um, so we're going to use 0 0.005. And instead of using N1 plus N2 minus 2 for our degrees of freedom, we are going to use the conservative estimate. So 25 is our smaller sample size. Minus 1 is 24 degrees of freedom. So let's go and put 0 0.005 and... 24 degrees of freedom into Excel, and I'm going to use the T distribution, and oh, I've got to get out of drawing, that's why it won't let me do it, okay, equal T dot IMB, 0 0.005, 24 degrees of freedom, we get 2.79694, all right, so we're going to use that for our confidence interval, so I'll go back here, and our computation is going to be 2 point seven nine six nine four and we do the square root now I'm not going to do the first part of the confidence interval because clearly you're getting that part right there okay so um, we'll have the standard deviation of the first sample squared in this case, 1 squared is just going to give us 1 again, but over the sample size, 25. Um, plus um, 0.46 squared, our second standard deviation. Over the sample size of 35. And now we just need to do this computation. All right, so if I put that in my calculator, all of that together, I get 0 0.6004. 0, 
0.17, or if we round to two decimal places, 0 0.60. And of course, if I get out of drawing and check that, that is what they have. Uh, now, on these though, as I have found um, working them for people, sometimes this is off. I think if you do it using that conservative estimate, it won't be off. Um, but realize as long as you're within, I said 0.10, you're okay. Uh, so don't necessarily think you're wrong on there. I have to go back by hand later and grade those. All right. So hopefully that will help you through these problems.